Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie, and I'm back from another video, and today, if y'all cannot see from the title of the video, I'm here with Reading My DMs Part 2. So with that being said, cue to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be, and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So if you guys cannot tell from the title of the video, we are here with Reading My DMs Part 2. If you guys have not seen the first one, y'all can check that out. And it's basically going to be the same video that I did oh, maybe like a year ago, maybe almost two years ago, where I'm just going to be reading my DMs. So with that said, I've screenshotted a lot of my DMs that I have gotten. And I'm not going to lie, these have been sitting in my phone for maybe like a year, um, almost a year now. And so yeah, these are some old DMs. And also stay tuned towards the end of the video because it's going to go from the least tame DM all the way to like the most outrageous DM if that makes sense. So make sure y'all stay to the end to see what my most outrageous DM is. And also with that being said, it's not going to just be people trying to shoot their shots. It's also going to be just a whole bunch of different stuff that I've received in my DMs. And with a further ado, I have nothing else left to say with the intro. And with that being said, let's get started with the video. So with that being said, the first DM that I got is from John. If you guys do not know who John is, here's a picture of John. Um, he said, Actually, I can't really say that word, so I'm just going to let y'all read it right here. Um, yeah, basically he said, Lance, sexy as fuck. Um, so, my boy Lance, like, John trying to shoot his shot, you know what I mean? Shoot this shoot. Um, nah, but I'm just playing. This is just like a joke. I think John sent me that um, because we were just joking around that day. I don't really remember the context, but I just remember John him slid up and just said Lance is sexy as fuck because I think I posted something with me and Lance and yeah with that being said for the safety of the people who have DM'd me I'm not going to include their names because just for the safety and I'm going to blur their profile pictures stuff like that just for out of respect so no one knows who is who unless they know that they sent me that DM if you guys are watching this and just know if you guys have sent me DM's um, I appreciate it I appreciate all the love that I get um, and yeah just go follow me on Instagram down below Jackie Wongers hit your boy up um, yeah, and also I might rebrand my Instagram because I'm not gonna lie, I got butt hurt because my coworker was roasting the fuck out of my Instagram and he was making fun of my pictures, so I might have to rebrand that soon, but we'll just see what happens. But yeah, with that being said, moving on to the actual beginning of this video. So to start things off for real, I got this DM on October 28th at 7.49 a.m. And all it says is, hi, I just wanted to let you know if shooting my shot was okay because I think you're really handsome. Um, I'm about to expose myself real quick because, um, oh my God, this is, this is embarrassing. But if you guys don't know, follow me on TikTok, but I will preference that a lot of my TikToks are cringy and I made a lot of TikToks be, like basically saying I'm single and lonely and I want a girlfriend um, because I knew those would get views. But I don't want to be known for that, so I've been switching my content a little bit on TikTok to more like Asian related and just stuff that relates more to me because I don't want to be known as a weirdo who's lonely or wants to fucking date a specific race or whatever. I want to just be Jackie. So I've been switching up my content. But if you guys want to, y'all can check me out on TikTok. Here it is right here, or you guys can check it out in the bio. But yeah, just be like aware that my TikToks are very, very cringy. I hate my TikToks. Um, but I don't want to delete them because I have a decent following on TikTok. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to just make content that I like instead of making content that caters to people, if that makes sense. So the first DM, pretty calm, pretty tame. Um, just someone trying to shoot their shot and you know what I mean? Um, I am single, you know what I mean? Um, but I am focusing on myself because, you know, I can't love someone before I love myself, if that makes sense. Basically, I think what I'm trying to say is that I cannot get into a relationship right now until I fully love myself. So no hate to them. I appreciate them shooting their shot, but just me personally right now, I just don't think I'm ready to date. So moving on to the next one. This was sent in November 6th at 5.11 p.m. And they said, babe, quit playing. Come on, we're late for our date. And they also sent me a voice message, but I don't know what the voice message said. And I can't go back and find it because like I said, these just, I think they automatically delete after a long period of time. So I don't have that, but yeah. And I think they also go on to say, 
Um, this is me. I think they sent a picture, but I can't see the picture. Um, so it said, this is me. I'm single. I know how to drive and I can kind of cook. My parents are super funny. Uh, my sisters call me pretty sometimes. Think about it. You want a girlfriend. I know you do. I'm here. I'm girlfriend available. Able. I cannot read. I'm sorry. All you got to do is make it happen, man. It's simple. Like I said, I appreciate the DM of you shooting your shot and just out of respect, me personally, like I said, I do not think I'm ready to date. As much as I want to be in a relationship and all that fun stuff, me mentally, I just don't think it's fair to anyone else to deal with my mental problems because it's like how if I can't control that, how am I able to you know use you and i don't want to rely on someone because it's not fair to them if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making any sense right now but i hope it makes sense because it makes somewhat sense in my mind but yeah sorry i'm getting off track i'm trying to work on me getting off track because i know people be roasting me about me getting off track in my videos i'm trying i'm sorry fuck i talk too much i'm sorry also before we move on let me know if i ramble too much in my videos comment down below if i ramble too much comment yes Y-E-S. If I ramble too much, I'm gonna do my best to stop. But yeah, with that being said, moving on. Also, before we move on, I did not know that there was more from the previous one. It says, but you gotta act quick. I won't be here forever with the sad emoji, with the door, and like, I'm about, I'm about to head out emoji. The choice is yours. And then she hit like the Rihanna wink emoji, or well, not emoji, the image. And she says, take your time. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, like I said, it's not you, it's me. It's as cliche as that is, I just don't think I'm ready to date. But with that being said, moving on to the next DM. This DM is about to expose me, but it says November 6, 9, 26 p.m. Saw you on TikTok. You like black women, so what's up? So yes, the truth is out there. I prefer dating black women, um, but I don't really care about race at the end of the day, as long as we both connect. But just me growing up in like a all that very diverse school and playing on all black football team, I just kind of gravitate gravitate gravitates i you know what, what i'm trying to say i gravitate towards black women so yeah my preference is black women but at the end of the day i don't really care about race as long as we genuinely have a connection and all that fun stuff but yeah like i said i'm not really a date you know everything takes time and i don't think i'm ready so with that being said moving on so the next one was in november 7th at 1 49 a.m it says seeing you on tiktok and thought you were handsome so dot 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 and then with the basketball and then like the emoji that goes like you know um, she was trying to shoot her shot. Like I said, I appreciate people shooting their shots. Um, and as much as I talk about me wanting to be in a relationship on TikTok, it's also, I don't think I'm ready. And it's, like I said, not fair to someone to deal with my stuff because what if I bring them down? And I, I would be mad at myself if I allowed myself to bring someone else down because that's not fair to anyone else. And I know I've done it in the past, but I'm really trying to focus on myself and just be a better me um, and just grow with all the past mistakes I've made because like I'm gonna be the first one to say I'm not perfect I fucked up a lot in my life but you know I'm trying to learn from my mistakes so with that said I want to make sure my next relationship I get into is a good healthy one I don't need no toxic shit because I don't need that that's just too much toxicity is not good for my cholesterol moving on to the next one this was on November 5th at 11 57 a.m. and it says I just saw your TikTok and instantly got butterflies with the mode you got that goes out like, and it says, hope it's not weird that I'm telling you this uh, with the, like a emoji with the, like it's sweating. Um, can we be friends though? I would really like to see where this would go with the like a cheesing smile effect, like, you know, like, you know. And then they sent another text on November 5th at 12, 13 p.m. Hey, shooting my shot and I hope I get to know. Um, yeah, so like I said, thank you. Um, I guess just me personally, I don't want to respond to someone who's trying to shoot their shot just respectfully because, like I said, I don't want them to be dragged into my problems or just make them deal with my problems because it's not fair to them. So I kind of just don't text them back sometimes. But then also, like I said, I don't see them or I just don't be on social media like that. So the next one is going to be on November 18th at 12.36 a.m. It was just someone saying, hey, with the emoji goes, ah. You know what I mean? Um, no harm in that. You know, hey, how you doing? Um, yeah, I really got to get better at texting. Uh, I'm not even going to lie. My friends hate me, specifically Maya, because Maya hates that I'm a dry texter. And she tells me that I'm a dry texter all the time. And I'm just a bad texter. That's just me. I can't text for shit, so I'm sorry. Um, 
Yeah. So the next one is rumor has it you're cute and funny with the eyes emojis and they're like a like a blushing cheeks emoji. So honestly, I think this is like a reference from Umbrella Academy because if you guys ever seen Umbrella Academy, Allison, she always she has that um, superpower where she'd be like, oh, rumor has it, then she says something and it'll make it come true. You know what I mean? So I feel like yeah. But no, I do appreciate the compliment. I don't know. I definitely that was definitely off topic. I'm so sorry. But yeah, no, definitely thank you for the compliment. Thank you for thinking I'm cute and funny. I just be myself, and yeah, I hope I'm good enough as myself. So this is the last DM before I show you guys my most craziest DM ever. And this one says, "Hello, it's a long shot. You might check this, but I just want to check up on you since it. It's, I haven't seen you post in a while. I hope everything is going well for you. Um, I'm not gonna lie, that one definitely." hit my feelings a little bit because I'm not gonna lie, that's crazy how people know this, how my mental health is affected with everything. It's just like, that's crazy. How like how you know this, I haven't been uploading or whatever, or like if I've been seeing off. Um, so I really do appreciate that because I'm not gonna lie, these past couple of days, um, I've been feeling very worthless, unwanted, comparing myself to others, and I just needed to take a step back away from social media. So like that's why I try to stay away from social media, and uh, that's why I don't reply to a lot of people sometimes. Is because just I need to be alone, just to focus on myself and men my mental health and all that stuff. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I do really care about mental health a lot because you know mental health is very important to me. Um, treating people right is very important to me. So yeah, just be there for everyone and yeah, just be yourself, be nice to everyone, treat people how you want to be treated. Um, I try to do that the best way I can. And I'm sorry if I don't text back because I just know my texting is not the best. But yeah, I do try to be there for all the friends that I do have as best as I can. So with all that being said, we are coming to the end of the video. And like I said, this is going to be the ending. This is gonna be the kicker, the most craziest DM I've ever got. And fun fact, this wasn't even really a DM. So I have my email connected to my Instagram and someone went out their way to email me. They emailed me and I'll show you exactly what they said. I'm gonna hide their name for respect, but this says, hey Jackie, I'm, and I'm emailing you because I know you have a hard time responding to DMs, comments, and all that. So I figured you would be able to answer my question here. Anyway, since you like black girls, what about chubby black girls? I've been following you for a while and even though we're both busy with life, I'm interested in you and I would like to talk to you more and maybe see how, where this goes. Just let me know. Out of no respect, I just never thought I would get a DM from an email, so it kind of just blew me away. So I don't know if that's weird. Maybe it's just because me personally, I really don't use my emails like that. I only have an email because I know a lot of things require emails, and I don't really, I like hardly send out emails or receive them. Oh, I, I definitely receive a lot of emails. That's a lot of cap from like all them stuff that you are subscribed to, but I definitely do not send out a lot of emails. Like the only times I send out emails are to my professors about grades or just questions about the class in general. So it kind of just blew my mind that someone sent me a DM from the email. But yeah, with that being said, I really do appreciate all the DMs that I've gotten. And like I said, I'm a very busy guy, so I'm sorry if I don't respond. And just, yeah, I'm really bad at responding to people in general. So that's just me. I just don't like being on my phone, honestly. I hate being on my phone. The way I was raised from my dad, my dad hates being on like phones. Like every time we go out to eat and he sees me on my phone, he gets mad at me. Cause it's like, bro, enjoy the food, live in the moment. Yeah, I really like my phone to take pictures, capture memories, but I don't really be on it like that. And yeah, I'm a very bad texter. So I do apologize to a lot of people that DM'd me. And I did not reply. I do apologize. I do appreciate you guys. I do love every single one of y'all out there. And hopefully in the future, I can get better at responding to people and texting people. And yeah, hopefully I can do it better. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know this video was probably all over the place, but hopefully I stayed on track on topic. So let me know down below if I stayed on topic or if I rambled too much so I can improve my videos for y'all. And also I have some sad news before this video ends. This is probably gonna be the last video that you guys see filmed in this room because I'm moving out soon. So there's probably gonna be one more video in this room and that's probably like my move out vlog. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is gonna be the last time that I'm filming in this room. So RIP to Jackie's room at Bixby. But yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I exposed myself because I exposed myself to my cringy TikToks, how I'm a bad texter, how I don't reply to people. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry, like just don't cancel me, I'm sorry. 
Um, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna hopefully get better at texting, all that stuff. Um, let me know down below in the comments some texting tips, because I really cannot text. My friends really do be getting on me for like either being a late response or just a bad text overall. So just let me know how I can improve on that. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and subscribe, share your boys out.